Hi guys, it's me Danielle Jenny Buttons and I'm back today with another challenge cup. I thought the last one went really well, husband's choice, so I figure let's go again. So I'm going to shake these out and I'm looking right now while I'm shaking them around and then I'm going to close my eyes when I pick. If you have any other ideas for me, please let me know. I will put them into the cup. I batch film a little bit just for ease to make sure I have stuff for you, but I'm obviously reading comments live. So I will add them to the cup when I can, but here we go. My eyes are now closed, I promise. I know I've picked this one. Close your eyes and pick. That's what I was doing. Okay, close your eyes and pick a book is what I'm gonna assume this means. So cool, 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 cool. Great. Let's put these to the side and see what happens. Close my eyes and pick. I guess I don't even need to pause you. All right, so there's a few places I could do this from. Um, I can do this from my cart that I keep my like books that I want to color in this month in, which seems like it makes sense to do it from there. I can do this from my area of Disney books, which is possible too. I'm moving all over, that's why I don't know if you can hear me. Um, I can do it from my Hannah Lynn bucket. I think I'm going to do it from my cart. So I'm over on the side on my cart and what I'm gonna do is like run my hand back and forth with my eyes closed and like count to 10 and then stop because I, with my eyes open, I know where everything is. So let's see, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so I got my finger. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. Ah! I dropped everything. One moment. I picked that one. I knew I was going to drop this. I'm actually going to check on these. I dropped my watercolors right off the top of my thing. Let's see if everyone's okay. Everybody popped out a little bit, but they're all intact. Whew, crisis averted there. Okay, so I picked Nickelodeon's The Splat. This is a recent purchase for me, and I have not done anything in here yet. I'm excited to try and also nervous because some of these pages seem like they could be hard. So let's pick a page. Um... So these are basically all single-sided because one side has a quote and then the other side has the picture. So really I can use any medium I want in here. I'm debating what kind of page I wanna do. Like, do we wanna do some more watercolor? Or right now I still haven't received my new markers because again, I'm mass filming this. So it is still August 5th, if you can believe it. But, um, so some of my markers might be dying. Now, if I was going for like my favorite show, it would have to be a Rugrat show, but I'm a little worried about doing a Rugrat page on video in case I mess up. For this page is sticking out to me, but it's like wallpapery. Uh, I wanna do a scene. Like I'm so excited to do this page, but I don't know when I will do it. I was never a fan of Ren and Stimpy, to be honest with you. You'll have to let me know. Sometimes when I pull the challenge, I'll pick the page off camera, but now I'm obviously doing it all at once. So let me know if you would rather me skip this all or do you like it being on camera? Ooh, Angry Beavers. See, I also really love the Sreptar page. So that's a contender. No run and Stimpy. <sighs> this is the hardest part, which is why I do the challenges, but it only narrowed it down to the book, not the challenges. I really love Hey Arnold. Maybe I'll do Hey Arnold and I'll paint it. Uh-oh, dog interruption again. Hopefully she's... it's a one and done kind of barking situation. Oh, crumb. Angry beavers, like the Rugrat pages are so cute. I think I'm gonna do that Hey Arnold page. Not the power. 
Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Nope, this one. Ah, hit the monopod, we're rocking all over the place. All right, close your eyes and pick. I'm going to do this Hey Arnold page because since it's outside, I don't really have to worry too much about color matching. And then I think I'm going to attempt to only use these watercolors, which is now, what are we up to? 12, 14, 21. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, 21 set of watercolors. And then we'll just have to mix if we need anything different, which is fine. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That is what we are gonna do. So let me get, whoa. Actually, I am gonna pause you because I need to rinse out my cup. So I will be right back. Okie dokie. So as for supplies, I have the book itself. I made sure to put a piece of paper and my cutting board behind it so as not to leak. I hopefully will not have any problems with that. I don't think I will, but just in case, I have my watercolors, which are the Prima watercolor confections in the classic set. I have my paintbrush, which is a Kurtaki water brush. I have my cup of water that has my paint puck in it, which again, if you are only going to buy one thing off my recommendation, it is those paint pucks. I will link everything down below. I also have my paper towels, which are pre-used with ink all from those Statlers that I returned. But that's fine, because I'm just gonna be rubbing my paintbrush on there between colors. Um, and yeah, that's it. So we're gonna get started. So again, I'm going to watercolor with just my basic set and see how it goes. Um, you probably, hopefully, have already seen my how I watercolor video, so this is not gonna be very tutorially. Oh, and this is a new book. Whoa, that squished down so good. I wasn't expecting that, oh boy. Oh boy, so yes, here we go. Hopefully it's all in screen. This is kind of a bigger book. I personally am probably going to start on background stuff because again, it doesn't matter as much. I'm gonna have to like look up an image of uh, Arnold and Gerald before I do them, but yes. Here we go. So I'm filming this and I'm filming everything out of order and I'm gonna be so confused later when I attempt to edit because basically I pulled husband's choice first, but Sam is still at work. So I was thinking about like sending him pictures of stuff to let him pick, but I really wanted him to be able to pick whatever he wanted. Like, I think that's what makes the challenge funny, is if he can pick anything. So, um, I decided to wait until he gets home to film that and then post that first. But then I had already started, so I didn't want to, like, look like I was cheating at filming. So, I cut that video there and I was like, okay, be right back. And I decided to start this whole other video now. And why that's important is in the intro of that video, I referenced my first challenge cup. And then in the intro of this video, I referenced that video that doesn't exist. So you can see how this is already getting confusing because I'm confused. But point is, I don't know what to talk about because that video is gonna come out first. So I wanna talk about like what's going on in my life there. <laughs> Does that make any sense to anybody but me? Probably not, but that's the deal. So I don't know what we're gonna talk about. So as you can see, in the past I had made a, a like dark green color and I'm gonna try to mimic that because I only have really one shade of green in here. So what I do is I get a lot of water on my brush, extra than usual. And then I take all that green water and put it in my green cup over here. And then I'll just add brown as necessary to my green until I get my desired color. Whoa, that's real dark. But that's fine because we're doing a whole bunch of trees. So let's just go with that. I think I'm going to make this big guy that color and then some of these look like they're the same tree right 
Right, whatever I say goes. This is my chat, right? Right. I don't know why I keep asking because if you couldn't answer the first time, you're not gonna be able to answer the second time. Yes, so now I have no idea when this video is going up. If you've noticed, I've been keeping to an every other day schedule. That's my plan to do as long as I physically can. I've been having such a great time making the videos, things like that, that I wanna keep going while I have the ideas. And boy, I have a lot of ideas. <laughs> um, I don't know why, but I've come up with a whole list of stuff to do. But what I wanna ask you now is if you'd be interested in seeing a live video stream from me. Um, I don't know when. I might ask in like the community tab, but I was wondering about going live. I know some people do it. I don't know if anyone watches when they do it because I personally have not gotten the opportunity yet, but I'm sure if they continue to do it, somebody must be there watching. I just think it'd be so fun to talk live and then I wouldn't have to think of things to say because you could just ask me things <laughs> or something like that. So if you are interested in a live, let me know. And let me know if there's like a specific time or day that's best for you. I've, I have a feeling that we're never going to be able to find something that's best for everybody. I've been posting my actual videos on at 1 p.m. Eastern time is when I post them. That's when YouTube says a lot of my subscribers are online. So hopefully, or maybe that will work for people. I'm in Eastern time. That is my time zone. So adjust as necessary when you're answering or even just put your time zone and then I can adjust obviously um but I think it would be fun and it would again take away some of my need to think of things to say which I would enjoy but I guess why not for this type of video we'll talk about tv I watched as a kid <laughs> because I think it goes real well. So as a kid, I was definitely a Nickelodeon 90s kid. I feel like there were three camps of 90s kid TV watchers, and there was Disney Channel, which I don't really even know what was on Disney Channel. I wasn't one of them. And there was, I guess there were kind of four. There was Disney Channel, there was Nickelodeon, which I think I was mostly Nickelodeon. There was... Cartoon Network, Cartoon Network Kids. I think Sam was a Cartoon Network Kid. I was definitely not a Cartoon Network Kid. And there was just like no, Not Cable Kids, which I was also a Not Cable Kid for a while. So I watched some of those shows too. So just like after school, whenever I got home, Pokemon would always be on kind of thing. So, but I loved Nickelodeon. I was really the biggest Rugrats fan. Like, that's why I had to buy this book for the Rugrats pages. Oh my goodness, this is coming out streaky. Luckily, it's a tree, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, yeah, I loved Rugrats. I remember Rugrats being, like, our version of a soap opera, and I remember, like, going to school and talking about it. But I don't know what it was. I really related to Angelica as a kid because... I wasn't nice. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I was also an only child like Angelica. So, and I was also like older than a lot of my similarly aged cousins. So I definitely would take over the decision making role sometimes. Also, I'm almost out of that color. Like it's drying up quickly. Obviously you can add more water, but I might just make a new color. So that's what's going on over here. I'm just gonna use the straight green. For a little bit but yeah so i related to angelica i was definitely bossy so whoops sorry cousins who i'm may or may not be watching this now because they've been finding out about my channel so hey if you are sorry that i was a punk i'm better now i think but um now i very much relate to chucky because i'm afraid of everything so oh how the tides have turned there uh, I love Chucky. Chucky Finster fan for life. I liked him back then, but, like, I love Chucky now. So, 
yes we I watch that all the time I never I kind of started to age out of it when the new characters came though so that's sad so like I was around for some of Dill but I really was not around for Kimmy we actually saw uh the Rugrats movie the first one in theaters and we almost didn't get to so we went to the theater and we hopefully my head wasn't in this video again uh I'm real worried. I'm going to just be more aware of it now. So if it was, I'm so sorry. Um, we went to the theater and it was me and my two cousins that I was mentioning I was a bully to. And my grandma and my dad. And we went and there was a huge line. I don't know if it was opening day or what, but there was a huge line. So we like got in the end of the line and we're waiting and waiting and waiting. And at one point my dad's like, I have a weird feeling about this. I'm going to check something out. So we're like, okay. So he went to the front of the line and it turned out we were in the line for people that already had tickets. So he actually bought the final five tickets and it was sold out after he was done. So that was pretty awesome because we would have been real sad. So he bought the last tickets, we stayed in line and we ended up sitting front row, like not even the front row of the bleachery part, but like front row of the part in the front. And we were like laying down watching this movie, but we saw it. So that was exciting. Always a big Rugrats fan. But again, after that, I started to like age out of it, I guess. Or maybe I went back to not having cable. I don't remember, but they're all on Hulu now. So I've rewatched them. The, again, those early episodes are like so familiar to me that I remember everything about them and can like say some of them word for word. Like I've watched those early ones so, so much. So I love Rugrats. But my dad loved Hey Arnold the most. He loved Hey Arnold and he loved Doug. So Doug isn't in this book, which is sad, but he loved them a lot. And he would always be like, Arnold, my man. And I don't know why he said it, but he was always excited when Arnold was on TV, I guess. I don't even know if he watched these with me or just like recognized the name Arnold. And then that's why he said it. But either way, we think he was an Arnold fan and a Doug guy. Doug kind of was like almost before my time. I feel like Doug was popular in the very early 90s and like... Doug and Arnold did not overlap with new episodes, for sure. Eventually, like, Doug got bought by Disney and everything got weird. So some episodes of Doug are actually on Disney Plus when it turned into Disney's show. And I definitely remember them, but, like, the whole intro is different and a bunch of the characters got redesigned. It's a weird time, but it's still fun. I watched some of those on the plane in February when we went on the cruise before all this happened. So... Yes, but Hey Arnold's a good time too. I used to, for a while when they actually reran the show on TV, this it would come on at like one in the morning, so I'd always put that on to go to sleep and rewatch a bunch of Hey Arnold, so he's definitely a quality character. Now for the rest of them, Angry Beavers I remember liking, Cat Dog I liked. I did not really like the other ones in here. Oh no, I liked Ah Real Monsters. I wasn't the biggest fan of the other ones. So like Rocket Power, meh, it's fine. And uh, Wild Thornberries is fine. And what else is in here? Ren and Stimpy, I did not like. Ren and Stimpy, I don't understand how it ever passed as a kid show. That one is like blatantly dirty. Not like, oh, it's funny. Like kids will think it's funny, but adults will get the second layer. No, that one was just flat out yucky in my opinion now. I can't, like, that one definitely wouldn't make it on a kid's network now. In fact, I think I saw posted on Facebook that they're thinking of rebooting it on Comedy Central. So, I, ugh, I was not a fan of that one. But the other ones, I liked a lot. So, oh good, that took up three minutes and I've colored only the trees i'm so glad i'm doing my like 15th color and chat of the day <laughs> uh-huh no i really like pre-filming because then i don't really have to stress about getting things to you because they're ready and you can schedule your videos which is super nice but i'm gonna put a little more brown in with this green 
Not too much though, to give it a little bit of a different flavor here. Yes, so I also like, that was back in the time, I remember my mom and I lived in an apartment and it was back in the time where you could like see the cable guy and she like slipped him 20 bucks to like add us to the cable without <laughs> putting it on our bill. So it was that time and he did it. So that was fun. So we had free cable for a little bit. I don't even know how they do that anymore. So I don't think that happens. I'm gonna assume all of that is different shades of trees back there, right? It's gotta be. So, um, yeah, yes, I did watch, again, a lot of regular, not cable TV. Like, what was the Zoom? What was it, on PBS? Watch some of that. I don't even know. I don't know what I did as a kid. It was too long ago. I'm sure I just watched whatever was on. Um, I know that back in the day too, like Disney, I wasn't a Disney kid because I think even back then, Disney wasn't just on normal cable. It was on like premium cable. Let me lower my volume. I keep getting emails and like Instagram notifications on my computer and they make loud noises. So yeah, I didn't have Disney because Disney was like super premium even back then. So we didn't have that for most of the time. So all of my Disney loving came later in life. Hmm. I think my grandma had it too, so it also came when I was at grandma's house. That's just the kind of treats grandma should have, right? Now, with my grandma growing up, this is a whole nother story, but we used to watch Murder, She Wrote. <laughs> I loved Murder, She Wrote. I really, my grandma got me into elderly detectives that weren't detectives. So we used to watch Murder, She Wrote and we used to watch Diagnosis Murder. Di so Murder, She Wrote is Angela Lansbury, love her to death. And Diagnosis Murder is my guy, Dick Van Dyke. Love him so much. I actually just rewatched Diagnosis Murder a few months ago, if that. And it's such a quality show. I don't know why it's not always rerunning, but I love it. So we would watch that together all the time. And she actually got me into like ER we would watch. And we would watch, what else? I feel like there's one more that I can't remember at this moment. But that's what we would watch together whenever I visited her. So always a fun time at grandma's house. <laughs> also, back to that. This was a little bit younger again, but grandma used to have a VHS and it was like an exercise tape for kids, but it was so weird and cool and like so 90s, but like it would be a bunch of kids exercising and you needed to have a towel and a bouncy ball. And I think there was one more thing that if you had two people, but like you would do all these weird exercises and it would be like, put the ball behind your back and like bend with the ball. And there was like this monster that came out to do stretching with you at the end. I wish I knew what this was to prove that it was real because it sounds so crazy. But I loved that exercise tape and I would want to do that tape all the time. So it definitely did its job at getting me to want to be mobile. So, Whew. even as a kid though, I always was very into arts and crafts and coloring. Like I remember very specifically coming to my aunt and grandma. So my grandma lived like downstairs, my grandma and grandpa, and then upstairs was my grandma's sister, so my aunt. And I remember like coming over and going upstairs and doing my coloring books. So she just like had a bunch of coloring books that she saved for me. There was a DuckTales one, I remember that. And then just a bunch of other ones, obviously kids quality. And we would just color whenever I would visit. So this has been my gig for a long time. I think I'm just gonna straight color the sky with this blue. I always tend to do the backgrounds first which I like to do because again it kind of centers everything else 
and puts everything else into focus. Uh, that's probably not background. Oh well, the details aren't there, so I'm gonna make it background. Um, but then I'm stuck with only details and then I'm sad. So, let me see something. Okay, I think you'll have to let me know what you think, but I think I am going to continue the trend of filming for about 30 to 35 minutes and then going into time lapse and showing you the rest of the process there. I don't know, maybe that's really annoying, but I always like it when you get to see the final product in the video. Like that's pretty important to me. And um, I don't think I physically could talk for as long as I would need to, to, to film the entire thing. So let me know, I'm going to do it again for this video. I possibly already did it for the one earlier today. Um, if you absolutely hate it, I'll stop, but I hope that you like it. And I know that it's like hard to watch hour long videos at a time that often. I don't know, maybe again, you love that too. I definitely watch everybody's video, but Shayna changed my life when she reminded me that you could put videos in double speed because I put almost everything in double speed now, like coloring, not coloring, everything goes in double speed. And it just gets through it so much quicker. Because a lot of times too, I feel like myself included, I put on like a camera voice and I talk slower on video than I do in real life. So I don't know if you're hearing this and being like, oh my goodness, how quick do you talk in real life? But I try to like stay paced and enunciate and all that good stuff. So I feel like a lot of people do that, or at least it sounds like they do. So then when you double speed it, it almost sounds like back to normal. And of course, if it's too quick, you could put it in like one and a half speed, 1.75, all that fun stuff. But then you just get through videos so quick, so easy. And I don't know if I would recommend it for when the time lapse is going though, because the time lapse is already incredibly fast. But you can give it a shot. It could be the fastest time lapse in the world. That's fine. Whew. It's, I really love it already, like even with just the background done. But I'm definitely going to bring up a picture and see what Arnold and Gerald look like when I get to that part. Or should I do that? Maybe that's what I'll do. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna actually time lapse now and I'm gonna do all the background and then I'm gonna come back and do these guys. What do you think? I think that'll work out because then you'll still get to see the good stuff. So, time lapse now. Okay, we're back to live. I'm just making an editing mess for myself because I just keep having to like stop and start. It's gonna be crazy. Also, I realized I missed some stuff, which I'm gonna do real quick right now. So, as you can see, it is a very green heavy page. And as you can also see, it is not like the most neat I've ever been, but that doesn't really bother me with uh, watercolor like this is fine so I'm actually didn't do the windows either I'm just gonna do like a yellow in all those windows 
and then we'll do the characters themselves. I love watercolor. It is so quick and easy. Um, that was probably maybe another 30 minutes, which you might be thinking, wow, that doesn't seem quick at all. But if I was doing pencils, I wouldn't be anywhere near done with this page. Um, it would just take my whole life to do. And again, as I hope you could see, I don't know how much of it was on screen or how much was next to screen, but I mixed a whole bunch of colors myself and watercolor is probably the easiest medium to make a lot out of not a lot, if that makes any sense. So you really don't need very many watercolors to be able to make a lot of watercolors. I actually had done a few pages when I just had the 12 color set and I would just mix everything myself. Because again, even right now, I could go in to different places and put water around and move things if I needed to. But I can hear my dog yawning in the background, implying to me that she wants attention soon, but I don't have time for you, little miss. Noodles, come here. I'm filming a video, ma'am. Okay, so on my computer, which you cannot see, I am going to pull up a picture of Arnold and of Gerald, and we're gonna copy it the best we can. So, I mean, I'm not gonna worry too, too much about the shades on here, because if I get too crazy, I'll have to be a perfectionist about it. So we will just copy that our boy Arnold has blonde hair. I couldn't find a picture, or I didn't look that hard, but I don't see any pictures right now of them on bicycles. I could probably look one up, but again, we're just, we're going easy here. It's, we don't need to be too crazy, too detailed. So I'm gonna do that. And then Gerald has very dark hair, basically black. I'm gonna use the black and also dip in the gray to hopefully not keep it super black. Yeah, this should be good. Just, it's a little bit opaque, so it'll be clear enough that we don't ruin all the line work. Is that too light, in fact? Let's do a second layer of some of this. Woo! That layer, that gray actually helped a lot because that's much darker. I wish you could hear Noodles yawning because she's just over and over again yawning. And it's very dramatic. But that's her brand. Okay, so Arnold's hat is always blue, so I'm just going to make his helmet blue also. Just use this nice light blue. And actually, this is probably a very similar color to his overshirt. So we'll make that blue too. This is where you want to be more careful, and by you I mean where I want to be more careful once we're on the details of the actual characters, but I, you can definitely get different sizes of water brushes, but I have been using this same exact water brush for like years now, and it is a little bit thick, so sometimes details are difficult for me, but... We're gonna do our best, do our best. See, my problem with basically all of my pictures is by the time I get to this point, I'm over it. And I don't wanna be doing it anymore because I've just been coloring for so long. But we have to finish strong. I'm gonna do his jeans. Honestly, it almost looked cool if I had done everything but them. Like it was kind of a cool idea. But for now, we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna do Gerald's red shirt. And he actually, the 33 is white, so we're gonna not do that. And I think I'm gonna give him a red helmet too because we'll assume he matches his helmet to his shirt. He seems very stylish in the show. Can you remember any episodes of Hey Arnold if you watch? Actually, so down below you can let me know, did you watch Hey Arnold? Were you a Nickelodeon kid or teen or child? I don't know what age you'd have to be to watch Nickelodeon or were your kids Nickelodeon kids? 
You don't stop yawning. I get the idea. Can you hear her? I wish you could. It's really funny. Um, I remember so many episodes of Hey Arnold. There's like the episode where there's a heat wave and they flip the ice cream truck. What, ma'am? How may I help you? I can't help you. You're beyond help? That's sad. Papa's on his way home. Then I'll be able to film that other video that I was supposed to be doing right now. Let's just do this bench brown in the back. No. I really don't want to stop again because that is just another segment to edit in. So we have to be strong, Noodles. Oh, she's going to the window. If I tell her to go window, she'll scream. So let's do some peach mixed with orange for Arnold's skin. This I might have to do on the side because this is looking super not skin tone right now. Uh-oh, too much orange. Be skin. We're getting there. Can you see any of that? Yeah, you can kind of see that it's happening. Not too much of his skin is exposed, so I don't have to worry too much. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, we're curling up. So yeah, I definitely, especially near the end, just kind of went crazy and used a lot of water and I was not careful. But again, these are basically single-sided, so I'm not upset about it. To my knowledge, none of it bled through. Noodles, stop. Go window, go. Go wait for Papa. Papa? Is Papa coming home? Go wait for Papa. Go window. Not the back one. Oi. She's going to the window in the office, which looks out to the backyard. He's not out there. Anyway. Now I don't remember what I was saying, Noodles. <sighs> I guess I was talking about episodes. I think I said something afterwards, but it's gone. I can't think of it anymore. Let's start on his hand in case it's terrible. It's a little bit thick, but it will dry and then the lines will come back, I hope. Hopefully that dries because otherwise I'm just painting over his eyebrows and painting over his ear definition. I'm about to paint over his nose. Whoopsie doodle. So yeah, I don't know if I said this last time, but the more water you put on your brush, the thinner the paint will be, and the less water that's on your brush, the thicker your paint will be. So, I don't know if that's intuitive. A lot, a few of you said that you were gonna try watercolor for the first time after that video, and that's super exciting. Whew, okay, what else? Arnold's pants are also the same blue, basically. Dab, dab. I'm really not paying attention to you, ma'am, so you can keep crying. But I'm a busy lady. I see you later. Oh, I didn't clean off my brush as good as I should have, but that's okay because that just kind of gives us a different shade of blue. And then his little undershirt is like red and orange mixed together. So I'm gonna put a bunch of red on my brush and then rub it in the orange. So the orange is on top. Yes. We're getting to those tiny details that are hard to do with this brush. I'm just gonna make this whole thing. Should we give him a whole red bike? Sure, let's give him a whole red bike. I 
And then he also has red shoes on, but they're a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go back with a little bit darker. And again, you, I don't know how well you can see on video, but I'm not necessarily always 100% in the lines. I'm just kind of going. We're gonna, like, I hope this has the watercolory effect to it so you can tell that it was watercolor, so then it overall will look less sloppy, but who knows? Let's do Gerald's tongue in red. Let's do the background of Gerald's tongue. I always do in black. Of all tongues, I'll usually do black. We'll do some black wheels for their bikes and their skateboards. Again, you might lose some of the line work, but it should dry back, like his hand's coming back a little bit. And if you don't like it at the end, just clean your brush off entirely and then wet it a little bit and it'll pick up some of that paint for ya. Yeah, the black especially is very opaque. Home stretch, home stretch. We're almost done, Noodles, we're gonna make it. She says she doesn't know she'll make it. She doesn't know how to survive, but she'll be fine. She's just very dramatic like me, so. Try to even that out as much as we can. I'm gonna do gray for these accents. And by that, I mean I didn't wash my brush off, so it is also very black still, but hopefully, towards gray. <laughs> All right, let's get some green mixed with orange for these leaves that are falling off. Oh, that's more orange than green. That's fine. There we go. There's a leaf. See, this is why I can't do a chat the whole time because I've stopped talking completely because we're just focusing what even is behind him. I don't know, but it's this color now. And we'll do red shoes with a little topper of brown. I feel like watercolor paints are almost like chameleon markers. Or just whatever you put on top is what you'll get eventually. No, vice versa. What is that sticking out? I think I thought it was a shoe, but it's definitely not. Let's make it more shirt. Right? And let's give our or Gerald an orange skateboard because I have orange on my brush. And Gerald wears also red shoes. Cool, cool, cool. Noodles, we're so close to done. We're going to make it. Yeah, so I guess while we're getting here, I want to thank you all for watching this far. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully the time lapse worked nicely in the middle there. I really like that. Let me know again your opinion on the time lapse. First of all, I just love watching anything in time lapse, but second of all, it makes the video much shorter. So if you'd rather a really long video, I guess you can let me know that, but hopefully you enjoy this format. Uh, if you've made it this far, you can pick either Arnold or Gerald as your word. Why not? Maybe your favorite of the two. Oh my goodness, have we done it? I think I'm gonna just put some pink on these flowers that I've been ignoring. And then we'll be done. So yeah, we did it. Thank you so much for watching. That's another challenge done. This was the pick with your eyes closed challenge. And I just rubbed my hand over my cart of books and picked the first one. No, I didn't pick the first one. I picked after 10 seconds, but I'm really happy to get a page done in a new book. 
That is one of my challenges for myself this month is to get three pages done in new books. So there's one right now. Um, subscribe if you haven't, why not? We're fun, I have lots of ideas. Um, stick around for more, comment down below, all that good stuff. And thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna take the dog in the backyard now. So here's my final page. Let's get it in screen for its finale. I'm gonna take all this junk out of the way. Voila, I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe down below, all that good stuff. Thank you, for, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time, bye.